All right, like father, like sons. That's what's happening over at West Valley City Police, where two pups are wanting to become just like their dad, a canine officer. Yeah, and tonight we take you inside the story of Haiti and Kane. Dan Roscone joins us live. Sounds like this is a family affair. It really is, Mark and Shana. You know, these boys have decided to follow in their father's footsteps, but it's not easy, not an easy task becoming a police dog. There are long days, long hours, and a lot of hard work, but the sons are hanging in there. Another day of police training I go, boy. for 10 month old Hades. Hades is learning the skill of attacking a bad guy. A scenario that takes months to master. Go, boy. Training future police dogs is nothing new. Dirty little bugger. But what is a first for West Valley City PD? Hades has a brother from the same litter that's also in the police academy. He's 10-month-old Kane, who has some skills sniffing out bad guys. The two dogs father, this is Taz, is a veteran in the police force. I tell boy. Taz is nine years old. Seats. A family of canine officers with two boys following in their father's footsteps. You see the family resemblance? <laughs> Except for the gray in this old man's face. And we're excited. The dad's been successful, so we're hoping that the kids will do the same thing. When you get a dog from a vendor, you're not quite sure of exactly what you're going to get. And where I've had the experience with, with his dad, we can pick out those traits that we want to see in each of the dogs. Foos. The dogs are Belgian Malinois. They may look the same, but there's a huge difference in discipline and training. <laughs> the pups do a great job at finding bad guys. or learning to bite the blue arm protector. But when it comes to a full body attack, the pups aren't ready. That's a job for dad. Right here. Now, as long as I stand still, he won't bite. But the moment I try to run, watching dad is pretty amazing. <laughs> Atta boy, Tazzy! He knows when to bark, when to bite. First! when to come back to his master, and how to back him up should he suddenly get attacked. Ah. And even if Taz is in the patrol car, stop right there. He still knows how to come to his partner's aid. Officer Hoover clicks a button on his belt, which opens up the side door. Stop, stop, Tazzy! Allowing Taz to do his thing. That's a good boy. A canine father showing the ropes for his growing boys who also one day hope to be officers. It's kind of a family business here? <laughs> At least we know where the dogs came from. Now getting the pups is a huge savings for the city. Buying a police dog from a vendor can cost about nine to $12,000. These pups were $800 a piece. The pups still have another year or more before they will graduate from the academy. Right now there is still no guarantee that they will actually pass. So they say it'll probably be almost close to a year before they'll decide whether or not these pups will graduate. You got all so. your fingers there? Yeah, I do. <laughs> that was kind of scary. I only got to say, was that was very scary. All right, Dan. <laughs> what a great story. I loved it. Thanks, Dan.